Okay, in this particular uh, exploration, this is uh, 4.7, this should be our last one. And this one we want to look at compounding and periodic payments. In other words, we're paying off a loan. So you should find this one very eye-opening. Okay, so Logan graduated from Tennis Lawn State University in May 2013. His $20,000 of college debt was in a single account with an annual interest rate of 3.4% compounded monthly. He landed a well-paying job and decided to ride a bike to work until he paid off his student loan. He plans to make $400 monthly payments. So let's go ahead and track this loan. Okay, so here's what we need. Let's go, first of all, we need a spreadsheet. Okay, we've got a spreadsheet. And we'll call this, um, we'll call this Logan's, Lucky Logan, that's what they call it in the book. Lucky Logan. Okay, in other words, this is 4.7, okay? So, uh, let's put in the columns here. We need month and year. We need uh, payment. We also need principal. We need the interest. We need the balance, the loan balance. And we're also going to add in here the cumulative interest. Okay, we'll put that in there. Okay, I'm going to skip the annual interest for now. Okay, all right. So let's uh, put in, he started May. 2013 okay all right that's when he graduated actually from school okay and we're going to put the balance of the loan at 20,000 okay and we want this to be money so we'll go ahead and put our money currency sign there that's what we'll do for the first column now what we want to do here is we want this thing to advance by months and that's a little trick to do that. Let's go ahead and put the next month in there. Um, um, June uh, 2013. Uh, if I put that in there, uh, we're gonna do something like this to advance it by month. Select both of them and then just do a pull down. And you'll see that it's going to advance by months when you do that, okay? We'll, we'll do that again in a little bit, okay? Um, let's see, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do all the months so it'd be easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, this you, in order for it to get the formula this time, since we're not using a formula, we're gonna select May and June, and we wanna pull this thing all the way down to November 2017. So let's do that. Okay, November 2017. Good. All right, so that was easy. All right, we did that. Our payments are going to be 400. Uh, they're going to start in June. So we'll go ahead and put $400 there and we'll put the money sign on it. All right, now this is where things get interesting. So you got two things going on. You're making a payment, but your interest is also being accrued at the same time. So the loan, so you're, the interest is being taken out as you're making a payment. So all of your $400 is not gonna go toward paying off the loan because it's being added, interest is being added at the same time. So let's calculate the interest first. So we're gonna go to the interest column here. Let's put equals. And we're going to take the balance of the loan times 
times the rate, which is 3.4%, which I'm going to write as uh, 0.034. I'm going to divide it by 12 because it's compounded monthly. And then I'm going to press enter. Okay. All right. And so that gives me my uh, interest. And let me go ahead and show that formula again. We just took the balance uh, and we multiplied it times the interest rate, the monthly interest rate. That's all we did to get the interest. Okay. All right. So, so $400. So that means out of the $400, this much, $56.67 is going toward the interest. So the remainder of it goes toward the principal. So we need to go ahead and go equal sign, let's subtract 400 minus the interest. And that gives us the amount of money that's going toward the principal. All right. So since only $343.33 is coming off the balance, then we need to go ahead and figure out what the new balance is. All right? So let's take the $20,000 minus the principal. And that's how what our new balance is. Because remember, we got to pay back the interest uh, at the same time that we pay down the loan. And matter of fact, we also need to keep track of our cumulative interest. So what we're going to do here is cumulative means we're going to uh, keep we're going to keep a running total of the interest. So let's press equals, and we're going to take the sum of uh, these two. Uh, we could use this formula here, but instead we're just going to use. Let's just go simple. Let's just simply add this D2 plus D3. Let's just do that. And that gives me the cumulative interest. And so what it's going to do is that it's going to continue to add uh, add each, to continue to add the sales as we pull down. So now we're ready. Let's just grab everything and let's pull down all the way to November. All right. And we we only we're almost done. The only thing we need to make sure is notice that in November 2007 uh, we end up with actually overpaying a bit. So that means we need to take his last payment. We need to make it smaller. So his November and I believe they say that in the, yeah, if you go back to the textbook and you see that he's, his, uh, uh, his last final payment is going to be less than normal, 397.04. And so let's make his last payment 397.04, 397.04. And if we put that in, then he, that, that's pretty good. We end up with just a one cent balance there. And that's that's pretty much the loan is pretty much paid off there. Okay. I'm pretty sure if we do a little finagling, we can probably make it even make it even closer. Okay. Um, but there, we have just completed the entire amortization table. And that completes this investigation.